Michelle and I attended the church youth group Sweet 16 dance in November 1968. We were betrothed couple. We made a promise earlier back in February with the approval of, of Michelle's parents. But at the dance, a boy wanted to cut in on our dance when Michelle and I were dancing together. It was the etiquette thing to do for me to allow the woman to decide whether or not a person can, uh, can cut in on the dance. So I asked Michelle, is it all right if you dance with you? And she said, yes. And so they danced. And I was steaming. I stood back full of jealousy. And what I didn't know was Michelle was upset that I even allowed the boy to cut in. I didn't know that. But we broke up. I broke up with her. And I was, broke up with great grief. I was very sorrowful. I spent many hours, if not days, in bed, sort of moping. One day, Pastor Jenkins came by and was wondering what happened to me because he hadn't seen me at Bible class and in church because I was regular attendant. And I explained the situation, which he already knew. And he said some comforting words. And so I decided to go. He asked me he, why well, he said, I expect to see you there on Sunday. I said, I'll be there. I attended church that following Sunday and expected and hopefully would see Michelle. But she wasn't there. And after a period of time, we talked on the phone. And I said some coarse words that I really didn't mean, but I decided to end the relationship since she wasn't coming to Bible class. Michelle sent me a Christmas gift, but I didn't open it. I sent it back to her because I intended to break off the relationship, or at least give more time to try to figure things out. But approximately a year later, Michelle invited me to her high school dance, Christmas dance, Christmas New Year dance. I attended with my friend Gary Patterson, and Michelle was there with her friend. And so Michelle said to me, said that I can dance with her friend, and she stormed off. I never saw her again until the summer of 1970. The dance was in, I believe it was in January 1970. But I was deeply upset. That reminds me of a song, that Marvin Gaye song, and it goes something like this. I won't cry anymore now that you've left me, I won't cry anymore. Now that you're gone, I've shed a million tears since we we're apart, but tears can never mend my broken heart. I won't sigh anymore. I'll just forget to. I'm closing the door of memories. 
although you're the one now that my arms are longing for. This is goodbye. I won't cry anymore.